This month, Netflix are going all in on some of the biggest shows of the year. However, it can be tough to know which shows deserve your undivided attention. Normally we will binge watch two or three in a row before realizing that this isnt the show for us, and attempting to find something else, or more than likely, just going back to re-watch old episodes of Rick Morty. So with that in mind, we're pitting two of Netflix's biggest new arrivals head-to-head, so you can decide for yourself which you'd rather remain couch-bound for. The Rain release date, Friday the 4th of May number of episodes, 8 plot, a brother and sister emerge from their shelter six years after a rain-based virus wiped out much of the Scandinavia's population to see if there are other survivors in this Danish sci-fi horror series. You'll like this if you've already enjoyed dark reviews, 65% on Metacritic, based on seven reviews at the time of writing. The Rain's greatest strength might be its clever hand with doling out information. If post-apocalyptic fiction has become too rote and familiar over the last decade, a good mystery yarn never loses its appeal, and the rain spins mysteries well, dropping reveals and intriguing titbits with impeccable timing. That quality makes the rain a great binge show, collider despite his best efforts, for a show where humanity is under attack, you ultimately need a reason to root for at least most of the humans. The rain never gets to the point where you're pulling for the water droplets, but this is one barren wasteland that makes it difficult to care about anything other than surviving it. IndieWire safe release date, Thursday the 10th of May number of episodes, 8 plot, the disappearance of one of the daughters of Surgeon Tom Delaney Michael C. Hall leads him to the discover dark secrets about the people around him in this drama series created by best-selling author Harlan Coben. You'll like this if you already enjoyed Big Little Lies reviews, 66% on Metacritic, based on four reviews at the time of writing. Safe is one of those series, like HBoss Big Little Lies, that focuses on the lives of the beautiful and the well-to-do. It doesn't suggest the rich are just like us. It suggests they are even more miserable, and in the case of Safe probably quite monstrous. That's a story that translates just about everywhere, apparently. Boston Herald It's not overwhelmingly shocking, perceptive or funny. What keeps it watchable is the sense of unease and maybe inconsistency. Hall's performance is slightly off. The Hollywood Reporter Share article